play Cards Against Humanity. Woo! For those of you who have never played Cards Against Humanity before, uh, both of us. it is very yeah. similar to Apples to Apples, but for awful people. So for example, I'm pulling a blank card, out, a black card out of here. And you were supposed to fill in the blanks with the card, the white cards that you have in front of you. Each of you has a hand of ten cards. So this one says you haven't truly lived until you've experienced blank and blank at the same time. And so let's just take two cards at random. I know, right? Um, for now. You haven't truly lived until you've experienced a big hoopla about nothing and pulling out at the same time. <laughs> Sex life. <laughs> now, Wait, you have a sex life? <laughs> I know, right? It's a, it's a big hoopla about nothing and a lot of pulling out. <laughs> Mostly pulling out of the hoopla. Now, is that what you call it? Each of, each of them submits <laughs> their. Each, each of them will submit their answers and then reveal them and read them out one, uh, one at a time. The, <laughs> Can you play two? Like yeah! Nope. I would like to. I'd love to. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Mine too! And I'm just curious. Know it, I wrote it. <laughs> no, I can give it in, but I'll. Know it. Alright. What? I did terrible things to it. So. The urine's <laughs> coming. Yes, but it's empty. It won't get for long. <laughs> so, anyway. There, are two, there is an extra rule to this Cards Against Humanity. There are two. One, the judges will be the audience. So you will vote on which one should win. Wait, you have to play to them? That is very Play the crowd. Play the crowd. Two, I have a lot of the extra swear jar money from Celebrity Jeopardy. Woo! We obviously didn't fucking swear enough. <laughs> the rule is... If they make me cringe or make me laugh, this goes to charity. <laughs> Just Four at a time? Four or five at a time. We've got plenty. Are you guys ready to play? How did you get all that money? Oh, I Who did you it. blow? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Begin the game! Yeah. Yeah. What the hell was that? So, yeah! There we go! When you play a white card, you have to replace it with one of the cards from the piles in front of you. So question one, why am I sticky? <laughs> Pick one card and place it in front of me. Oh, and then grab another one? card. It has to be exactly yes. one. Here's one. Alright. So, why am I sticky? One, sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Nazis. <laughs> and three, why am I sticky? Tentacle porn. <laughs> <laughs> the audience has decided. <laughs> Tentacle porn wins. Tentacle <laughs> porn always wins. <laughs> Points to Ken Pontac. <laughs> Question two. Oh, Mike. Mics are working. Mics are working. All right. Remember, sell your answer to the crowd. Question two. Well, how are we supposed to tell them our answer was? It's true. Is this thing on? Yeah. Is nope. it on? No. Nope. Is this fucking thing on? No. Ew, I touched it with my tongue. <laughs> What's it do? Just your tongue? What gives me uncontrollable gas? Uh, can I use Nazis again? <laughs> okay, then I'll do the next best thing. <laughs> All right, so. What gives me uncontrollable gas? <laughs> Answer one, the devil himself. <laughs> Two, Republicans. <laughs> the hiccups. So, I'll actually, uh, to be more fair than last time, I'm gonna go through these again. Who votes for number one? The devil himself. <laughs> 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 Who votes for Republicans? 
Well, that, that's not a fair question to ask in San Francisco. Because the yeah, answer that's real is fair, nobody. Right? Who votes for the hiccups? Wow. Republicans takes it. Republicans win! Yes! Like I said, last time I used Nazis, this time I went with Republicans. It's pretty much the next best thing. <laughs> next question. Hey, I'm a Republican. Why do I wow. all over? And you cannot reuse tentacle porn. Republicans. <laughs> Tea party. Why do I hurt all over? And remember to replace the Oh, God. Did I not replace one? This one, then. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Dirt. Yeah. Um, alrighty, I would go with, uh... What was it again? Why do I hurt all over? <laughs> okay. What all did right. you do to me that makes me hurt no, no, all no, no. over? <laughs> let's, let's do that. Let the show. Is it multiple choice? Why do I hurt all over? Number one. I hurt all over because I was teaching a robot to love. <laughs> Two, I hurt all over because of sunshine and rainbows. They burn me. They burn me like hygiene. Wait, that was added. Well, he made me laugh. So. Answer three. So it was just a bug. Pumping out a baby every nine months. So once again, votes. Number one, do I hurt all over because I was teaching a robot to love? Pretty good vote count. Do I hurt all over because sunshine and rainbows burn me? <laughs> or do I hurt all over because I pump out a baby every nine months? <laughs> That's a pretty close one. Pretty close. All right, once again, teaching a robot to love. <laughs> Sound doesn't help. <laughs> okay, and pumping out a baby every nine months. Oh man, <laughs> slightly more. Pumping out a baby every nine months wins it. <laughs> I was most impressed with how you laughed at that, as though you had never heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a great answer! I'm I still thought that was freaking funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, still, the, the Next the card. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for blank. Ahem. Number one. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for William Shatner. Number two. This is your captain speaking. Prepare for chunks of dead prostitutes. Three. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for vigilante justice. So, now that you've heard all of them, number one. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for William Shatner. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for chunks of dead prostitutes. I love how his hand went up before you even read it. He's like, oh, this is the chunks of dead prostitute one. Yeah! Yeah! Like, I'd say you can't beat a dead prostitute, but that's actually one of the most fun things to do with the dead prostitute. Oh. You just never heard. Number three. This is your captain speaking. Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for vigilante justice. Yeah. All right, dead prostitute wins it. <laughs> Let's be fair, chunks of dead prostitute wins it. That's true. I mean, even seeing the card went Pfft. So, you know, that worked. Yep. When I was tripping on acid, blank turned into blank. Please submit two cards. The first card to be read should be on the bottom. Wait a second, I'm just taking a moment to think think about the things I tripped on while I was yeah, on acid. Can you read that again? <laughs> when I was tripping on acid, blank turned into blank. There are two blanks. You will submit two cards and draw two cards when you are done. Is there an order, or does it not matter? Bottom will be red first. Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> so the card that is on bottom will be red first. Well, I don't know which way. Which, well, which way, which one do you want to go first? <laughs> the bottom. 
So it's like top and bottom. That's going to be first. That's going to be first. Okay. Yeah, but I can't remember the question now. It was. When I was tripping on acid, blank one turned into blank two. Okay, so one two. What? No, I just I. Five seconds. Do we have to grab two cards now? You have to grab two cards. But if oh, you're an acid, Jesus. make it Why three. Why did you have this card? <laughs> because you didn't pick it. No, it wasn't there. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on. Two this one's wrong. You must play a card, Neil Captain. I know. All right. Number one. When I was shipping on acid, a dollop of sour cream turned into eight ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin. <laughs> Number two, when I was chipping on acid, the invisible hand turned into the profoundly handicapped. <laughs> Number three, when I was chipping on acid, Lance Armstrong's missing testicle turned into Pabst Blue Ribbon. I don't think you need to take a vote after that. Next, Pabst, just in case, number one. Well, it's either heroin or beer. Sour cream. <laughs> turned into eight ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin. Mm. That's magic, by the way. That's not <laughs> tripping. That's magic. <laughs> Number three. Okay. When I was tripping on acid, Lance Armstrong's missing testicle turned into PBR. That is tripping. <laughs> that is tripping. Sour cream wins it. <laughs> That actually happened to me about five times. See? See? And it had nothing to do with LSD. <laughs> this is another magic. This is another pick two. An international tribunal has found blank one guilty of blank two. Oh, man. Oh, damn. <laughs> Put the money in! <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. This <laughs> this thing that can actually happen. I know. <laughs> Two. Wait. <laughs> I don't understand. So okay. You don't have to. It's the first okay. thing, and that's the second Four thing. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> it's comedy gold. An international tribunal has found my vagina guilty of puppies. <laughs> Two. An international tribunal has found Nicolas Cage guilty of suicidal thoughts. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! Damn. Number three. An international tribunal has found Lady Gaga guilty of eating an albino. <laughs> so, who votes for one? My vagina and puppies. You don't get a well, vote. if you you know if you put it like that, it's hard not to vote for my vagina and puppies. <laughs> well, you're all gonna vote for your own, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Number two, Nicolas Cage and suicidal thoughts. Wow. And number three, Lady Gaga eating an albino. <laughs> wow. Surprise! Because you don't know it, that actually happened. <laughs> that's what he. That's why he said that could happen. <laughs> sure, let's do this one. Blank. Kid tested. Mother approved. You're all terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You should save this. These three for the very end. You should just play this at the very end. <laughs> should we just save it? No, just go it? ahead and do it. Number one, taking a man's eyes and balls out and putting his eyes where his balls go and then his eyes balls in the eye holes. Kid tested. Mother, Mother approved. approved. <laughs> Two, pedophile. <laughs> Mother approved. Three, incest. <laughs> Mother approved. You're awful people. <laughs> What's, what's amazing is they just kind of got worse. <laughs> Number one, taking a man's eyes and balls out and putting his eyes where his balls go and then his balls in the eye holes. Yeah, no votes. Sorry. <laughs> I love, that's kind of the Quentin Tarantino answer. I did that when I was a paragraph. Kid. Pedophiles. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would have won if it weren't for incest. <laughs> you know, see, that's wow. terrible because incest sometimes doesn't involve kids or moms. Pedophiles always involves kids. No, it doesn't. Sometimes it can be grandpas. All right, guys, oh. right, remember to make sure that your hand is refilled with 10 cards. I'm just, I should get a card for that. <laughs> I'm not thinking about it. Why can't I sleep at night? <laughs> that counts as cringing. <laughs> the, the weird look is, it counts. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. Yeah. Why can't I sleep at night? <laughs> Number one, mild autism. <laughs> Number two, the Google. <laughs> Number three, foreskin. <laughs> Who votes for number one? Mild autism is why I can't sleep at night. Number two, the Google is why I can't sleep at night. Number three, the foreskin is why I can't sleep at night. Thank you. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't, but it just sounded horrible. All right, you know guys. What? You know what? If I still had a foreskin, it would probably keep me up. Saving this oh, one did I class. just admit to being Jewish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, not that I'm Jew. I'm sorry. I admitted it that way. I'm saving this one for last, so don't do that one yet. I found I found the ending. This is a draw two and pick three. So make sure there are 12 cards in your hand. And there are going to be three, so you just want to put them top to bottom. Okay, so if, yep, draw two to make it 12. Is that how that works? Nobody said there'd be math. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> <laughs> I went from blank one to blank two, all thanks to blank three. <laughs> <laughs> I went from blank one to blank two, all because of blank three. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! <laughs> Just the first we'll one about first, the second one second, bottom. and the third one third. Yeah, but which one's the first one? Top to bottom. <laughs> Just top to bottom. I went from some things oh, to some all things to some things. How many cards do we know? Okay. You go back to ten. Stop it! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> ah, yeah! yeah! I already put it in! So what? I got a second one! No! So how this said there were rules. I said there were rules. Alright. Number one. You know what? You know what? That's what sure. that is. I went from not wearing pants to child abuse. Oops, sorry. Oh, oh no! Okay. Out right. of order. Oh, no, well. I went from not wearing pants to child abuse, all thanks to a sausage festival. Oh. <laughs> That's actually fairly autobiographical. <laughs> I went from being a motherfucking sorcerer to a snapping turtle biting the tip of your penis. <laughs> all thanks to Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill! 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 Bill. <laughs> I went from drinking alone to a foul mouth. All thanks to a defective condom. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about your own father that way. <laughs> Terrible. Dad? Damn, <laughs> Alba, what'd you do? So, number one, I went from not wearing pants to child abuse, all thanks to a sausage festival. <laughs> Two, I went. <laughs> I went from being a motherfucking sorcerer to a snapping turtle biting the tip of your penis. All thanks to Bill Nye, the science guy. Okay. And I went from drinking alone to a foul mouth. All thanks to a defective condom. Uh, it, was, it was being a motherfucking sorcerer, bitch! So could, could the motherfucking sorcerer voters raise their hands again, please? I need to recount. Yeah, come on. Oh, oops. Wait, no, okay, I'm good. It actually does take it. Motherfucking sorcerer. Motherfucking sorcerer. 
<laughs> Make sure you have ten cards in your hands, gentlemen. Actually, I can't call you that anymore. Make uh, make sure you have ten cards in your hands, you right. fucking asshole. <laughs> My plan for world domination begins with blank. Because <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, my plan for world domination begins with the Care Bear Stand! Number two, my plan for world domination begins with roofies. Number three, my plan for world domination begins with 50,000 volts straight to the nipples. <laughs> but for who? That's a very good question. That you have to answer for yourself. Yeah. Who? For whom. <laughs> My plan for world domination begins with the Care Bear Stare. No. My world plan for world domination begins with Roofies! <laughs> My plan for world domination begins with 50,000 volts straight to the nipples. Roofies win. <laughs> Roofies win. Roofies always win. <laughs> you just don't remember what game they won. The Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on blank. <laughs> Number one, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on the ooze. <laughs> Number two, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an interactive exhibit on some really fucked up shit. <laughs> Number three, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History has just opened an ex interactive exhibit on smegma. <laughs> Number one. Number one. The ooze. Number two. Some really fucked up shit. Number three. Smegma. Some really fucked up shit. I wasted my fucking smegma card. Every time, man. I, I simply. Yeah, I think you should have just said, I wasted my smegma. Go back to ten, go back to ten cards. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank has denied your request for blank. Remember, I will read from top to bottom. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank one has denied your request for blank two. I'm not looking. I'm not looking! I'm not looking! No! No! No. So which is first? I will read from top to bottom. <laughs> Number one. February! Dear sir or madam, Would we regret to inform you that the Office of Homeless People has denied your request for battlefield amputations. <laughs> Number two, dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the Office of Poorly Timed Holocaust Jokes has denied your request for authentic Mexican cuisine. Oh. Number three, dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the Office of Getting Really High has denied your request for five dollar footlongs. <laughs> Number one, homeless people and battlefield amputations. <laughs> Number two, poorly timed Holocaust jokes and authentic Mexican cuisine. Wow, that was a. Oh, nope, there's a half vote right there. There you go. <laughs> Getting really high and five dollar footlongs. In San Francisco! Who Play doesn't the vote for getting high and five dollar footlongs? I'm sorry, getting really high. How high is really high? High enough to not care that your five dollar foot long is only eleven inches. <laughs> Speaking of which, what brought the orgy to a grinding halt? Oh. <laughs> 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 
What brought the orgy to a grinding halt? One, Daddy's Belt. Oh! Isn't that a Tom Cruise Cruz movie, actually? <laughs> what brought the orgy to a grinding halt? Concealing a boner. That would, actually. Number three. It's an orgy? Well, yeah, because you need it. So you're concealing it. They just won't see it anymore. What brought the orgy to a grinding halt? My relationship status. Number one. Daddy's belt. Okay, I don't think we need to take the rest of that one. I wasted my boner. Story oh, again! Story of my life. Wasting his boner? My new favorite porn star is no Joey... No cringe? No cringe. Oh, wow. My new favorite porn star is Joey Blank McGee. <laughs> the Blank is his nickname. Oh, I thought it was Joey Blank McGee. I know. Up and coming in the porn world, Joey Lactation McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, up and coming in the porn world, Joey Hormone Injections McGee. <laughs> And number three, Joey Ethnic Cleansing McGee. <laughs> number one, Joey Lactation McGee, up and coming porn star. Number two, Joey Hormone Injections McGee, winner of the Tour de France. <laughs> number three, Joey Ethnic Cleansing McGee, because people just like the word eth ethnic cleansing. <laughs> Which one won? Ethnic cleansing. So you oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm behind ethnic cleansing. Yes, yes. Wait a second, you guys just recorded that. Oh, shit. Speaking of which... My name's Dave Hitler. What ended my last relationship? Oh, that's where I should have used my relationship status. So, what ended my last relationship? Filling Sean Hannity with helium and watching him float away. <laughs> Implying that my last relationship was with Sean Hannity. I miss that little man. <laughs> what ended my last relationship? Flesh eating bacteria. <laughs> Number wow. three. What ended my last relationship? Dining with cardboard cutouts of the cast of Friends. <laughs> I don't know, that relationship's still kind of going on. <laughs> so, number one, Sean Hannity full of helium. Number two, wow. flesh eating bacteria. Number three, dining with cardboard cutouts. No, it still takes. <laughs> Major League Baseball has banned blank for giving players an unfair advantage. That's where I should have used Lance Armstrong's testicles. <laughs> That's full of testosterone. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Major League Baseball has banned blank for giving players an unfair advantage. <laughs> Major League Baseball has banned electricity for giving players an unfair advantage. <laughs> Apparently, they like Wrigley Stadium a lot. Yeah. <laughs> really Field, I'm sorry. It's okay. Major League Baseball has banned Grandma for giving players an unfair advantage. Wait, is, wasn't that Larry Johnson? No, it's Grandma Ma. Oh, okay. Major League Baseball has banned the mixing of the races for giving players an unfair advantage. <laughs> Welcome back to the 30s, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Number one, electricity. Number two, grandma. Number three, the mixing of the races. There we go. The kid's back in it. Next. What is the next Happy Meal toy? Oh. See, you missed out on Smegma right there.